Hey, Herb Alpert, and if you like this stuff, we got the whole catalog, SRO, Standing Room Only. We always have it pretty well stocked with that. And Chilliwack, uh, Blues Rock from Canada. And uh, John Denver, Volume 2, Greatest Hits, that one you don't see all that often. And if you don't know anything about Kenny Rogers, here's where you start. Now, the Box Tops, Alex Chilton, uh, Terrific Garage Rock, and it tells the whole sad, tragic story of Alex Chilton and Big Star, etc., etc., CBGBs, everything on the back. Uh, but this is a great record. And uh, Leona Maria Carolyn Boyd, uh, the uh, first lady of the guitar, uh, Canadian guitar virtuoso, studied with Julian Bream and Andrea Segovia, etc., etc. She's pretty amazing, and this is one of her great records. Marilyn Horn, um, uh, pretty excellent opera from 71, and a uh, great picture of the mezzo-soprano. And if you like that, of course, it's much bigger on the back, and there's a gatefold with a whole bunch of other great stuff in there. Uh, some Dale Bazio there, some really nice copies of that, and some really good polka. Stanley Pulaski, uh, it's got the Scarecrow polka, New York polka, television polka, and the most interesting synthetic polka. Uh, Go Go's, uh, this actually has their best uh, song ever, which is Head Over Heels, and it's actually the last record they ever did. They are still technically around, but they haven't put out any uh, album since '84, really, of new stuff. Um, got a lot of folk in, too including Judy Collins' fifth album. Uh, the Nightcaps, uh, New Wave stuff from 82. There's a promo copy, Euro Import. Uh, Berlioz, Requiem, uh, Dias Aries on here. Pretty excellent. Uh, Nazareth, uh, the David Rowe cover art. Uh, this is a really nice uh, UK-Irish press. Maureen McGovern, uh, The Poseidon Adventure, great song. And uh, this is a really decent record. I like it a lot. Got some rockabilly there and... All kinds of stuff. Uh, Singing the Blues, the original title was uh, Swinging the Blues. Uh, and the only trace of that, I think, is in the run out. Um, it was uh, put together in February 57, and I think this came out in June 57, and it, they decided to call it Singing the Blues. Uh, Oscar Brown Jr., everybody loved him. Steve Allen loved him. Uh, Nat Hentoff wrote about him. Uh, this is really good soul jazz from the mid 60s. Uh, it's got a real cinematic sound from the era. Uh, Justine Johns, totally New York power pop from the early 80s. It's just really obscure, really indie. There was a label from New York City that just put out her and a few other artists, and uh, it's really good kind of 80s dance rock. So is this, Tuesday Night. It's a little bit not quite total synth pop because there's some guitar going on, too, and uh, her daddy was a uh, rockabilly guy put out a bunch of 45s way back when. Uh, this is a scarce organ record. And uh, Jenny Does Lenny, uh, the songs of Leonard Cohen, he was a good friend of hers, and they collaborated a lot, and there's their picture together, so. Doobie Brothers, uh, not Yacht Rock, though, because uh, this is uh, the last record before Michael McDonald came into it, uh, the Union Gap, uh, some really good disco, of course, Shaft is classic, got some more Beatles. Talk Talk, It's My Life, this is such a great song, and this is the extended version, 12-inch. Art for the Dodgers, second record from 76. Uh, Sape, uh, this is some really good stuff here. Very highly recommended. Um, his overtures, uh, there's a lot of really good stuff on here. Bocasia is good. Um, but Poet and Peasant is really almost as good as anything Mozart ever did in, in his prime. Even though uh, Sape was known for his light music, uh, he really wanted to be a serious composer, and this is really excellent stuff. He was also a gourmand, really into... Uh, I guess uh, really good food. He wrote a treatise on uh, Italian cooking and sadly, I believe he got uh, an illness that uh, prevented him from eating, so I believe he died of starvation in 1895. Uh, Cachaturian. Some good stuff there. This Limbo record is uh, pretty scarce, pretty good. Al Martino, uh, of course, uh, his daughter's a friend of the shop and she just um, obtained uh, the door knocker of Frank Sinatra's house. So we got a section for him, of course. And Jan Pederewski uh, points if you know the restaurant in Cleveland he operated. This has a little write-up by Dorothy Fulltime. It's signed by him. And it's like a comedy lounge record. He does all kinds of stuff, including Moon River, etc., etc. Pretty neat. And Salar de Espana, uh, they're a European band. They came from Barcelona, and uh, they were assembled to actually, I believe, play in uh, the Americas, North and South America. They played a lot in like places like Venezuela. This is signed by the entire band, all on their trousers there. Uh, this is a really, really, really hard-to-come-by record. And uh, they did put out a number of other ones, but this is pretty cool and excellent stuff. Got some Romanic classical. And Marlena Dietrich with... Um, 
Burt Bacharach's Orchestra, which is pretty interesting. It's a good music hall record from, I believe, 1960. Emile Vallel, uh, French Caribbean, uh, Caribbean lounge stuff. Uh, this is another really hard to come by record, and it's signed, dated, and inscribed by him uh, on the back, which is pretty cool. They compared him quite a bit to uh, Belafonte. Uh, he was a really good singer with a good range and didn't put out too much stuff, unfortunately, but that is a great record. Uh, this is another Cleveland polka band, and it is signed on the shrink in the back, which is pretty cool. And there's some actually really good stuff on here, including the beer mug polka. This is a Percy Faith favorite. Sam Cook, uh, some good Exotica that's got Harbor Lights on it. Tracy Ellman, who just seems like a totally cool person. This is a great kind of neo doo wop from the 80s. Really excellent. Um, and this band uh, was a disco band, but it was uh, kind of their concept of disco swing, trying to be like uh, the 30s uh, big band nightclub stuff. And of course, Bob James, uh, this has Angela from Taxi on it. And some good cover out and we did get some uh, Duran Duran 12 inches from the 80s. Uh, this is a single-sided UK import, and uh, here's another one, Pretty Mint. Pretty Mint. 